Hey First Alliance family, Dan McPherson here along with Emmett, one of my twins, coming to you from my home. We're in the second day of our daily messages to you and I wanted to just share a short devotional. As I was reading, looking at the story in Luke 24, Jesus has been with the two people on the road to Emmaus and they have come back and are now sharing with the rest of the disciples. And they're kind of in this in this room. I imagine them just kind of hunkered down. You know, Jesus has died. He's not yet reappeared. And these two people are coming back sharing this awesome story. And in that moment, Jesus appears to them in the room, just coming right through the wall. And he says, peace be with you. And that's the theme of this week is peace. And I think about all of us. Who are kind of quarantined, we're hunkered down in our homes, there's some fear, some unknowns, and Jesus has the ability, the opportunity, the possibility to walk into our homes and to say, peace be with you. And there are several things that I would like us as a church family to kind of use as a catapult to be Jesus coming into others' homes this week. And it's hard. We're in quarantine. We're kind of told to hunker down in our homes. And so how can you reach out to other people? Well, I think there's some really good ways. And the first one is something that Pastor Zach mentioned this past Sunday, is simply write an encouraging note to someone and just stick it in the mail. And it will show up and be Jesus in their home. I think another way that we can do that is simply through prayer. Prayer is the primary way that we speak to God, that we intercess on other people's behalf. And so my challenge to you is to today, think about someone in your life who needs Jesus to step into their home and to give them peace. And just take a moment and pray for them. It'll only take a second, but it will mean the world to that person. And if you want to even go a step further, call them and say, hey, I've been praying for you today. We, like the disciples, have to be hunkered down in our homes. But Jesus, just like with the disciples, is able to come into our homes and say, peace be with you. How beautiful is that? The last thing that I wanted to mention to you is we've created a playlist on YouTube that we're simply calling the FAC Fear Fighting Playlist. And it's worship music that you can listen to throughout the day. The link will be in the description for you that you can go and we can all be listening to the same music together, fighting fear, worshiping God together as a church family. I encourage you to do that. Thanks so much for listening, for being a part of this, for watching Emmett, and we will look forward to seeing you tomorrow and talking with you more.